You're very welcome along to a very special edition of Taranaki Times. We're at Yarrow Stadium here, it's a Thursday night, it's been a busy day. We started off this morning with Conrad Smith at the Devon Hotel and just back from the Plymouth Airport after talking to Dunica O'Callaghan from the Irish camp. And uh, we've uh, had the pleasure of talking to those two guys there today uh, with a bit of a music slant of the, of the questions that we asked, uh, asked them. So I hope you enjoy what you see and here's for a great game on Saturday night. And uh, win, lose or draw, it'll be a few points of Guinness will be had. Happy days. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be joined alongside Mr. Conrad Smith um, before the All Black Test uh, against Ireland, my fair uh, country. But um, um, growing up in New Plymouth, um, how do you think uh, New Plymouth is today compared to when you grew up? Uh, grew up there. Um, yeah, it's, it's come a long way. I know when I left, I, I was proud of the place. Just uh, you know, went down to university to Wellington, and I was proud just because it was where I grew up and it was my hometown. But uh, I sort of always thought it was a bit of a hick town, not much going on. But even in the years that I came back, so that was sort of in 2000 that I went away, and um, that time, you know, they developed a, a real culture. We've got WOMAD every year. We just had Fleetwood Mac before Christmas, and Slash is coming in, in August. It's, it's not too bad, and the All Blacks playing on Saturday. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's and that's what I mean. I was up for, for Fleetwood Mac, and uh, you know, Wome is not really my thing, but uh, I know it's popular, and um, my girlfriend's been up, and, and she's seen it, loves it. So, you know, events like that, um, you know, obviously build the popularity, get a lot of people coming here, and you know, and, and they they host it well. You know, New Plymouth is, you know, it was Fleetwood Mac the the weekend. There was um, I think the cell phones went down because there were so many people in in the region they couldn't deal with it. But uh, you know, everyone, um, the hospitality and things like that. Um, you know, it's just going to make those events, you know, in the future really uh, successful. You see a lot of sporting players who have their headphones on, just listen to some music to try and um, to switch off from all of this thing that's happening here. Um, is there any, do you do that? Um, I'm, I'm not a big listener, I don't listen on the bus. Uh, during, during the day I, I will, um, you know, and like you say, it does help you. Sort of uh, takes your mind off things and it's uh, pretty relaxing. But I'm not one of the boys that has the big uh, earphones on the bus to the game or at, at the ground. Uh, no, I just um, I'm, I'm pretty happy and relaxed by then. I think. Is there any New Zealand music that you enjoy or listen to? Um, oh, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a, I enjoy my rock, nothing too um, hard. So she heads good, you know. Uh, I, I enjoy their stuff and a lot of um, you know the New Zealand bands, Black Seeds, uh, Fit Freddy's, things like that. That uh, some of the root stuff is, is, is cool, and Phoenix Foundation I've been enjoying lately too. So uh, stuff like that, I'm, I'm not um, anything goes pretty much with me. I'm, I'm not too picky. Is there any uh, music played in the dressing room? Um, is that done in the All Black dressing room? Uh, yeah, yeah. After uh, after the game, they're pretty quick to uh, put the music on. It's always the best way to celebrate, I suppose, or even to uh, to drown the losses. So yeah, the music's always switched on within a few minutes of walking in. Is there any one song that gets everyone singing along pretty quick? <laughs> um, well, any, anything catchy, you know, old um, Dave Dobbin numbers, a few other, what's that Black Eyed Peas song that everyone sings, but uh, you know, anything like that the boy, boys get into and uh, yeah, it's it's, um, it's pretty fun, you know, that's, I think when it all sinks in, you know, you get the excitement on the field and you sort of, it's all a bit of a blur and then you sort of sit down with your mates and there's no one else around in, in the changing room, it's, you know, for me anyway, it's the, uh, it's the best time of the victory, I think. Do you enjoy uh, socialising with the Irish after the game? Yeah, they, um, you know, they're a good bunch of lads, and I think they're similar to us, similar um, upbringing. You know, the country to pretty similar. The times I've spent in Ireland, you know, they're uh, <coughs> you sort of see why, um, you know, the players get along. We'll go out and see the boys arrive at quarter past five at New Plymouth Airport. Um, is there any back secret back combinations that you can tell me that I can pass on to the boys? <laughs> no, no, no. I think uh, I'll keep, keep them uh, pretty safe. <laughs> Happy days. Thanks very much, Conrad, for uh, having a chat with us. Cheers. Sure. Thank you. So out here in the Plymouth Airport, I'm very honoured to be alongside Dunica Callaghan. Uh, Dunica, how is it going? Yeah, things are going well. We just got a great welcome there from uh, from everyone down in New Plymouth in the Taranaki area. It's great for us, uh, the Munster lads, to come here. Mm. An awful lot of our teammates would be uh, from this neck of the woods with uh, Lifemi Maffey and uh, right. Jason Holland. And it's funny, we just met Jason Holland's old school teacher. So. Uh, with a few words for him because he obviously didn't do a very good job. 
Jason isn't the brightest of fellas, so <laughs> I apologise to all his family watching. What is Jason up to now? He used to play for Munster. Yeah, he's our backs coach you now, oh, so brilliant. it's uh, it's very important. I think it's an important thing with us that um, an awful lot of our players that have uh, played with us go back into the system and bring someone else on. So uh, Jason is um, he's coaching our backs and, and doing a great job of it. Well, you just talked to Conrad Smith earlier on about um, the use of music to, to help you zone out. Do you have the headphones on the on the bus for long journeys? And uh, and if so, what kind of music are you listening to? Yeah, I suppose you'd listen, you listen. You would um, you just try to get match ready, and there's uh, there's so, uh, there's songs that twig emotions for you. For me, it'd be an awful lot of Irish bands. I'd listen to an awful lot of you know Cork music with the likes of John Spillane and, and Rory Gallagher. Um, and then, there, of course, U2 is always popular with kind of uh, any of those songs. So uh, I won't tell you. Some of the lads listen to a fair bit of Backstreet Boys and stuff <laughs> like that. That's just Tommy Bo, it's the way he is. And then, um, just in terms of in the dressing room after um, a victory, perhaps, yeah. is there any kind of song that uh, twigs off a bit of a sing along? Yeah, there is. Anything by Christy Moore. The whole squad, he's come in and sang for us a few times, so he's a uh, usually popular member in our squad. But uh, uh, we. One song that always gets played is, you know, Elbow, One Day Like This. I don't... Yeah, well, it gets... <laughs> it shows how popular it is down here. <laughs> it gets played a fair bit in our place, so Elbow, One Day Like This. Yeah. Great, yeah, we, we're lucky enough, we've got a Cork fella um, here um, living with us, and he's best of friends with um, with Christie's nephew, oh, and living in Clonakilty, yeah, County right, Cork, played, Gavin Moore. Yeah, I played, I played rugby with Gavin, it's a small world, it yeah. Is. So, uh, happy days. Yeah. We, we had a quick chat, as I said, to Conrad um, earlier on, and uh, we asked him to pass on some of the back combinations, but he, he, wouldn't, <laughs> okay. he wouldn't pass them on yeah, for well, us. So. I'd have no interest in those. If you could get the line out calls, it'll be handy. <laughs> I'm not too worried about our backs. <laughs> it's going to be a great game. It's great that it's uh, rugby's brought around the region, and, uh, and like just the welcome you get here is incredible. So, uh, you know, for us to be running out in the, a pitch that means so much to the likes of Jason and Life Amy means an awful lot to us as well. So, uh, we'll be going out and giving it our all. Um, I'm lucky enough, along with eight other Irish men, to be carrying the, the flag out onto the pitch before you guys uh, play. So it'll be a great honour um, for me, and um, I wish you all the very best luck, Donegal. Brilliant. Great stuff. Uh, carry it high. Well done. Thank you. Cheers.